so coming to your eustachian tube okay. eustachian tube coming to the anatomy of the eustachian tube this eustachian tube mainly it is a tube like structure that connects medullary with nasopharynx okay it has got 36 cm sorry 36 mm in length which out of which the outer 12 mm is bony and the inner 24 mm is cartilaginous okay if you take your ear pin now and you have the external auditory canal have the tympanic membrane and here you will be having your middle ear right from the anterior wall of the middle ear this eustachian tube arises and it enters the nasopharynx okay on the lateral wall of the nasopharynx on the lateral wall of nasopharynx it enters in the middle ear it lies in the this is from the anterior wall of middle ear it arises right okay so now coming to the uh, angulation of the eustachian tube to the horizontal it is arranged at an angle of 45 degrees the outer 12 mm is bony part because you can see this middle ear part except the tympanic membrane the remaining middle ear part is completely bony and this bony is nothing but this is the continuation of the bony part likewise you can remember easily also in the external auditory canal the outer part is cartilaginous right and the inner part is bony outer 8 mm and inner 16 mm is bony part it's nothing but this continuation of the bony part okay so to a central bony part outside cartilage is attached inside cartilage is attached outside cartilage is attached to outside bony external artery canal inside cartilage is attached to inside bony this cartilage bony part of eustachian tube right so likewise you can remember easily and uh, coming to the uh, development of the eustachian tube it develops from first pharyngeal pouch okay the first pharyngeal pouch there is a difference between pharyngeal cleft pharyngeal pouch and pharyngeal arch okay if you take uh, your pharyngeal arches right this is one side another side pharyngeal arch one side pharyngeal arch and another side pharyngeal arch okay so this is one pharyngeal arch right first pharyngeal arch and this is second pharyngeal arch right okay now in between these two the outer depression in between these two is called as cleft okay and the inside also there is a depression forming between two arches that is your pouch inside there will be lining of the endoderm outside there will be lining of the ectoderm your external auditory canal okay, it develops from the first cleft so that's why it is lined by ectoderm okay it is lined by ectoderm okay and uh, inside if you see the middle ear right this is the bony part your eustachian tube will be there it will be developed from the first pharyngeal pouch so that's why it is formed by the inner endodermal mucosal lining right so in between this outer squamous layer outer epithelial squamous layer formed by the ectoderm and inner endodermal mucosal layer mesenchymal tissue will proliferate and it will form a middle fibrous layer so this squamous layer, middle fibrous layer, inner mucosal layer, these three will combinedly 
they will form a membranous partition that is nothing but your tympanic membrane that's why your tympanic membrane has got three layers formed from three different germ layers okay right now coming to eustachian tube opening in the nasal 